All right, so it's been a while since I've done a super buffed tower test, but to this time I kind of want to spice things up and do a hero this time around. That hero I chose was Adora. I think Adora should do pretty well, considering that she does do um, quite a bit of damage when max buffed, just because she shoots out quite a lot of projectiles at level 20, and level 20 ball light also does deal some decent damage. Now, believe it or not, this is actually not the first time I've actually done a super buffed hero. I think one of the first super buff videos I did was with Captain Churchill and in that video if you have seen it, which most of you probably haven't anyways, if you have seen it, what you would have found is that it's incredibly difficult to kind of farm um, and kind of defend Blunarius at the same time while using your hero as main DPS. The main issue with doing a super buffed hero is that heroes do rely on their levels for most of their power. And so a lower level Adora isn't really going to be doing too much. Honestly, for tier 1 alone, I feel like you kind of need Adora to be around level like kind of 15, 16. Something like though, like almost level 20, but you don't necessarily need the 20. We definitely do need her in her late teens. And so that's kind of an issue kind of with Super Buff Tiros. Is that it's incredibly difficult to even get a hero to their teens by, by the time round 40 comes along. And so that's why I brought Benjamin along. That's why, you know, you kind of see I have every hero enabled. And I think I might actually place down Geraldo's NFT because why not, even though I was going for farms. I think it's still not too late to go for it, and I think I'll place it down now. I think I'm kind of way over, but that's fine. Now, yes, I am well aware that um, heroes do share XP, so you aren't really going to be getting a whole lot of XP now that I have Geraldo and whatchamacallit down. But honestly, I think it's fine. And actually, I'm kind of curious. If I sell Geraldo, will I get rid of his action figure? No, so there, surprisingly. Okay, then. I found a new cheese. Although it's not really going to be useful outside of co-op or mods. But anyways, I guess that is useful for having Benjamin get as many levels as humanly possible. As I do kind of want to rush Energizer. I think maybe a late teens Adora with minor support is going to be enough to beat Blunarius. All right, so Energizer was afforded on round 15. Hopefully that will be enough. And I'm also hoping that maybe this will kind of cancel out the fact that Benjamin is still here. And so we aren't going to be gaining so much XP. I am tempted to sell Ben, but you know, I feel like we can still squeeze out some extra income from him. So I am going to keep him around for the time being. and just kind of hope that Energizer can offset that. Blunarius is rolling in, we only have the door to level 7. Now we're looking too great. But, I mean, if we kind of kill the rounds as fast as possible, I think we might be able to kind of cluster stuff. Farming's not really looking too great, because having to sell for Energizer towards the middle of the round really does kind of offset your kind of um, gain. So, I'm thinking what I might do is just maybe sell farms now, and then I'll sacrifice to see how much we actually get here. 15 perfect okay that's pretty good and so i will take that and so let me we alk buff let's go for village and then i'll go for an oc next which you will get pretty soon and then look at that ball light insane insane damage and so i think with just kind of ball light and overclock we should be doing some pretty nice damage yeah you can see here we are looking pretty good. So I mean the only downside is that we did invest quite a lot of money and we aren't going to get that kind of money back from Adora is kind of the thing is we can't really kind of sell her after this so you have to keep her around. I mean adding in other heroes isn't really going to be too useful but for whatever reason other heroes aren't here but I guess that's fine since we don't really need Benjamin back anyway. And I'm actually going to sacrifice the Bloom Trap just for more levels as well as the increased attack speed. Do so kind of want to pop this down as fast as possible, so let's go for another Overclock. And then after this I can sell for like BRF. And I'm pretty sure I can afford it because I mean easy mode prices um, should hopefully make this a little bit easier. Yeah, only like 16k. So it's pretty good, pretty nice. And then with that, that is how Adora can beat um, Blunarius. And we are kind of far off from whatchamacallit, but that's fine. Alright, so I farmed like kind of the best I can. Not really looking too amazing, but I mean, hey, at least I have an overclocked VRF. We have 66k down, first things first. 
We do want Energizer for that reduced cooldown. We also do want Alchemist. Um, I can try to go for CTA or could always go for my good old Brittle. Could always go for Brittle. I'm not going to go for Super Brit. I don't think it's needed. And then I guess I'll get... Um, uh, do I want Glue Storm? I mean, I guess, yeah. I don't see why not. I don't know what else I'm going to spend money on. And I think that's really all I can do. I think the only other thing I can do is like sacrificing, which I guess I'll sacrifice like base supers just to save as much money as possible. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to even afford Banana Central by the end of this tier, which is kind of the main thing I need for farming. But I mean, if we can't afford it, I think that's probably fine. Now let me take by Doors abilities just because I kind of want them up 24 seven. So let's start sacrificing supers now. And I think maybe just kind of 0 to 0 to 0 super is going to be enough. So whenever the buff runs out, I'll just reapply it like this. Damage is looking quite nice. And then I need to place another brittle down because that one's out of range. I could buy a Chinook, but I mean, saving money, I guess I just won't buy one. Just keep sacrificing base supers. Damage is looking pretty good. We are doing some nice DPS. Did the buff run out already? No way. That doesn't last very long. And Adora is almost at 20. I'll just buy it right now. So that way we get a max level ball of light. Which should do nice damage. And already you can already see the carnage that Adora does. Nice. And look at that. Level 20 ball of light is doing work. So that's why I said, you know, you do need to, um, it's kind of the first few tiers that really make or break the run, to be honest. And then last super monkey I'll sacrifice, and then there we are. Now the thing is, is there's no way we aren't going to be able to afford Brittle, even if I sold everything. Yeah, we are kind of far off, so I guess I'll just have to settle for, I mean, I guess I'll just have to settle for just more BRFs. Alrighty, round 80 about to roll in. Got some pretty decent farming going along. Was able to afford being essential. Now we have a hundred, around $180,000. So first things first, going for Homeland. We also need to go for an Ultra Boost. First and foremost, just for, to keep for later as well. Actually, I think I actually want to put it here because I want it in range. Actually, no, it redu Energizer reduces cooldown everywhere. I completely forgot. And that's pretty much all my money. But I think it's fine, to be honest. We will make decent cash mid-round, so I'll just play and then hope that we do pretty good. Let me just tech bot these. And I do need to go for my support options as well, but I'll get that kind of later on. So now we start the ultra boosting. And I'm like using all my tech bots, wow. I actually have to go buy more. Anyways, let's do that. Um, how was damage looking? Are we doing good? I think we're doing all right. If I can just get a super Brit, I think we might be doing a little bit better. I'm gonna get an alchemist as well. We can start working on permanent root kind of later on. All right, that DPS is looking pretty good. If we can just kill this like kind of ASAP, I think we should be in a good position. I'll actually kind of keep farming in the meantime, just because we do actually need to go for true sun god. Um, because the door does get buffed by True Sun God, so we definitely do want to be going for a temple. And so far, we're not really looking too hot on farming. We definitely should be having a lot more at this point, but I mean, thankfully it is in normal mode, so... It's not like we need too much, but even still, every little bit can help. Now, I can actually start working on a sniper. I completely forgot about that. Cripple Moab. It's around like $27,000, so I might not get it up in time, but I think that's fine. We're at five stacks on a door currently, and I can barely see the screen at this point. All right, we're at skull two at the moment, it's around 84. Um, let me get crippled in now, and now I'll sell brittle and then replace it kind of somewhere. Um, do I have space for an ice here? I do, because I actually want to place Brittle on water. I think that might be the best spot for it. So let's get AZ, and then I can place Brittle kind of as far down as possible. Thankfully, Blunarius is a pretty big hitbox, so I mean, this should be fine. Perfect. And also, I completely forgot I should be sacrificing Super Monkeys, so let's do that. Um, that increased attack speed will make a difference. 
And in the meantime, I will just continue on farming as much as possible. So let's see if we place a farm here. Let's sacrifice another one. And I need to look up and see what the ma what the, like the max um, sacrifice threshold is, because it is based on cost. But I completely just forgot like how much you actually need to sacrifice some money to get like the maximum duration as well as the maximum benefit. Anyways, Venerius has gone down, so I need to actually untech bot Ultra Boost. I can even find tech bot that does, and I need to start Ultra Boosting the farm. So thankfully, the infinite money glitch wasn't too hard to achieve at all, actually. That is quite a nice turn of events. Now I have to sell everything. So with a million dollars, I think we just honestly just got to upgrade to like a base temple. So first things first, um, actually, I need to play the round and move Adora out of range. Just so that way we don't accidentally sacrifice anything that we actually don't want to. And I will get multiple Chinooks just because we do also need to move Brutal as well. So do that. And then I need to start Ultra Boosting Adora again. But I'll worry about that later. Alright, so let's move Adora here. And then we'll move a Super like right next to her. Move a Super Monkey here. Ultra Boost. Then we'll do that. And then we get to upgrade to True Sun God. And Adora transforms into her form. Her Sun Goddess form. Then I'll move her back here because why not? Basically full map range. And then I'm free to sell the temple. Also, I realized I probably should have not done that just because well, it would have been best to like get a support temple. But oh well, I can always do that kind of now-ish, which I think I will end up doing. Get a support temple lickety split. Um, how are we doing in DPS? I think we're doing pretty good. Also, for those that are wondering, um, no, we're not going to be going for eventual temple just because that's only a cosmetic change. That actually does not make Adora um, any stronger, just if you didn't actually know that. And personally, I think that Void Dora's um, true sun goddess skin looks a lot better than her eventual form. I think the eventual form doesn't look terrible, but it's not really too great either. All right, hopefully this doesn't actually sacrifice anything important and it seems like it does. So actually I will move this and then it seems that ice is also going to be sacrificed as well. So I will move ice. I can't really move it too much because it is supporting the sniper, which hopefully doesn't end up selling. No, I think we're fine. And then I'll do that and then I'll get increased range. And I think Adora should is not in the range. So I'll get village then. Now she's in the range. And now this is the strongest Adora can become aside from being sac fed sacrifices. And it seems that Temple's going to attack, but it doesn't really matter. This is not going to be doing a whole lot of damage, anyways. Man, that is a lot of projectiles on the screen. Alrighty, so tier 5 is rolling in, starting off sacrificing a couple of Swim Monkeys. Already placed down kind of a pre before, just to kind of make it a bit easier on myself. And then it seems that we're again, we're not getting the full duration. So I might actually upgrade these guys to 022. Hopefully that should be enough. No, I could always upgrade to Robo, but eh. Sacrifice another one. I don't even know if it actually ran out. I'm just kind of sacrificing at this point just because I can. And yep, DPS is looking quite good. Not too shabby, not too shabby. It's definitely not like as good as like towers. So I mean, towers in general, I think are stronger than heroes. Like, even at their level 20 state. But man, watching this is honestly hurting my eyes at this point. Probably not a good thing, but anyways, second skull down. And we are just absolutely draining Blenarius' health. Let me move Brittle. I'll move it. Um, ah, crap. I have, like, nowhere to move it. I think it's because Super Monkey's in the way, yeah. So let me sacrifice this Super Monkey, and then I will move Brittle over into a better spot all right sacrifice that and then i think we should be good to go also i just realized two monkeys might be doing some damage but i mean i think it's fine i could honestly just start sacrificing a bunch of supers because i guess it doesn't really matter at this point as it does seem like a super buff to void dora will be enough to kind of take down blue Narius. Yep, and here comes the final thousand of HP, and that will do it. Seems that Super Void Door will be enough to take down Blinaries. 
really it's just kind of early game is honestly the hardest part about it kind of farming enough to be able to beat the first tier is definitely what's gonna it's definitely essential in kind of runs like this but anyways if you enjoy the video you know like comment subscribe and join discord link is down below in the description and i will see you all in the next video have a nice day